hello everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing good and today i'm sharing a recipe of badami beef korma and for that i am going to marinate the beef first so i have took around two pound of yogurt like a one kg so this container contains four pounds so i put the half of the container so put two pound of uh, yogurt then one pack of korma mix and two spoon of ginger garlic paste and one spoon of fresh chopped garlic and a few drops of a uh, korma essence or a kevra you can put add two full spoon of dhania jeera powder one full spoon of red chili powder and one big spoon of red crushed pepper then two of star anise seed and eight to ten black whole pepper 5 to 7 cloves and 2 black cardamom 3 to 4 green cardamom then 2 bay leaves mean tej patta then mix everything well and add half cup of oil then stir well and then add meat into it so as i say i'm making a beef korma so i'm adding a beef but if you want you can add your uh, desire meat like if you want to add chicken or mutton and make sure to marinate the meat for at least an hour and uh, after an hour i'm going to cook this beef korma so i have placed the pot on the stove and i will let it boil but when the boil comes just mix it well and uh, cook this meat until 30 to 35 minutes on medium to low flame make sure it's medium to low flame not high flame and then on the side i'm just soaking the almond in hot water so i can peel off the skin of almond because after putting the hot water that's gonna be easy to peel off so peel off the almonds and then put it in a chopper then add half cup of fried onion and i'm using a packet onion the fried onion but if you want you can use the fresh fried onion that will bring more good taste into it so i'm just adding the fried onion that was easy for me and uh, just chop it and uh, if you want you can make a puree by adding a little bit of water but i'm just uh, make a chop one and after 30 to 35 minutes as you see the meat is really tender so now this stage i'm going to add um almond and fried onion and then i will just stir it well and cook for around 10 minutes on again medium to low flame and after 10 minutes i'm going to add a uh, green chili that's optional but i'm just adding it if you have these big chilies or the jalapeno that will bring a very good taste so that's why i'm adding these uh, serrano chilies and i'll cook for five minutes and after five minutes it's ready to serve and that how it looks to mention that when you're adding a green chili add a uh, garam masala and jaffel javitri powder to uh, just a two pinches of jaffel javitri powder that will bring a very good taste and as you see it is ready to serve and it looks so good and trust me it was really delicious so i really want you all to try this recipe hope you all like this recipe and if you have any question do let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching